farm harvest machines. Carrot harvesting. Carrots are grown when the climate is cold. Therefore, the ideal cultivation season for carrots is considered the early spring and its harvesting season starts in late summer and early winter. Farmers utilize modern technologies for the cultivation and harvesting of carrots too. You can see in the video how the tractor is assisting the farmers in the harvest of carrots. This tractor has done three processes at the very same time with the help of a much limited number of workers. The tractor is functionalized by three workers only. One drives it to the carrots, while the other two assist with the operations from behind. The tractor swallows the plant from the ground to its escalator attached to its body and throws the plant on the ground that can be further used as grasses for animals. The workers at the back receive the carrots on the escalator and place them in the bucket. Upon the successful filling of the buckets, through an automated system, the bucket is then placed on the ground. Another tractor, which looks like a mini excavator, lifts the filled buckets and places them on a tractor that pulls the filled buckets to the processing unit where these harvested carrots are dusted off and then packed to be sent to the market. Cabbage harvesting. Two tractors at the same time. You can see other giant types of tractors and types of pieces of machinery in the channel. Please visit. Cabbages are usually harvested between 90 to 120 days after their cultivation. This is how harvesting can be made easier. The tractor at the front pulls the buckets where the second tractor sends the harvested cabbages. The second tractor, or the tractor at the back, does most of the operations. Initially, it swallows the cabbages with the entire plant and pushes them to the escalator, where upon touching the rotary blades attached at the corner of the escalator, it gets parted from the excessive leaves. During the operations, a cabbage is then left and continues to escalate with the leaves. The workers do the removal of the excessive leaves manually with a giant knife in their hands. The excessive leaves upon reaching the end are automatically thrown on the ground. The workers fill the bucket with cabbages until their full bearing capacity. Both of the tractors move at the same speed while being driven in the cabbage field to get the harvesting process done. These tractors are more standardized than the prior ones because upon the swallowing of the cabbage with the plant, the roller swallower of the tractor almost cleans the cabbage from leaves and sends it to the lifter that further sends it to the roller blade that perfectly cuts it free from the excessive leaves. Then remains the ultimate step of the field operations is to place the harvested cabbage in the buckets. Garlic harvesting. The garlic harvester ensures flexibility and high performance if it's operated on wet and clay soil. The tractor can cover a distance of 50 meters while operating, but at its width. It also initially swallows the garlic with its entire plant. It's also attached with several camera solutions for harvesting precision. After swallowing the plants, it sends the plants to the escalator that later, after some processing, sends the dusted free garlic into the bunkers which are attached to the same tractor while the excessive leaves are thrown on the ground. The bunker has the capacity to store eight tons of garlic in one go.
The operations don't stop here. The garlic is then loaded into a giant truck, which carries them to the processing line, because unlike the cabbages, it needs some extra effort for cleaning. Initially being dipped into the water to let it be free from the field dust and mud. Oh, I forgot some useful information. Cloves of garlic are usually planted between late September and November, while its harvesting season starts between June and August of the same year. Being small in size, it would be very difficult to harvest garlic, but thanks to these pieces of machinery that are not only assisting the farmers to do a better yet time-saving cultivation, but time-saving harvesting as well. Broccoli Cultivation Technology In the last part of the video, why don't we show you how broccoli is cultivated? There are two types of broccoli that are grown on farms. These are cultivated as crowns and purple sprouting. The first type, which is the crown, is grown from late spring and the cultivating season continues to summer. But the second type, which is purple sprouting, best grows in an atmosphere with cold weather. To get the best broccoli, the seeds are placed on the trays and then taken to the specially heated greenhouses. These seeds are then watered regularly. The water is sprinkled over the trays because the excessive provision of water to the seeds can cause severe damage to them. After spending some determined time in the greenhouse, the seeds start to grow in the trays. These are kept in the greenhouses because too much cold weather can be fatal for these newly grown plants. After approximately three months, 35 million individual plants are created in this greenhouse. Before planting them in the fields, the soil is prepared. Once the soil is prepared and balanced, it's stimulated with fertilizers for the best growth. The trays are now placed in the cultivating machine which plants them in the field one by one. Broccoli, like other plants, is also cultivated linearly. But unlike other fruits and vegetables, you can see their videos on this channel. We uploaded several kinds of vegetables in fruit farming. It demands a great amount of water. The vegetable becomes ready to be harvested before the growth of flowers on it. The flowers are then an indication that the broccoli is grown, but is now starting to perish.